I would like to make some things abundantly clear in this video. For all the criticisms I might levy against a developer and the thought processes that went into the making of the games that I play, I would not ever in my life be arrogant enough to insinuate that I could do a better job. That is just not how this works. When a team of people come together to bring a story to life, they do so with intent. Every decision is carefully crafted to generate an overarching theme. That theme can be a raging inferno of success, or it can wither away in the winds of history. But once it is out there, it is not to be infringed upon. To that end, I do not condone the unsanctioned modification of video games. It's one thing if a developer allows it, but if they say no, that decision is final. Nothing you say can change my mind. I reported Need for Speed Rivals Plus to EA, and I would hope that anyone who plays this game would feel compelled to do the same thing. Because the problem with Rivals Plus is that it serves as a massive overreach which straight up ruins every intent that the developers had when they released that game a decade ago. And in case it goes without saying, Need for Speed Rivals is not abandonware. It is a game you can buy right now. It is a game you can play right now. Even if the servers might be dead as a doornail, the single player game is more than cohesive enough to keep a player playing for dozens of hours. So while one might make the argument of modding a game for quote unquote preservation, that is far from the case here. And the game still holds up graphically to this day because the aesthetic of the game was meant to be futuristic from day one, making it all the more infuriating when the maker or makers of Rivals Plus have sought to completely ruin that image and instead make the game look older than it actually does. Trust me, there is a lot to unpack here, and it's gonna be really hard to get to all of it, so let's just get started. Need for Speed Rivals Plus is a modification to the base game which promises improved graphics, features, and performance. It does not do any of these things, and in fact, makes all of these things worse. A demo video was released for version 5, and while I refuse to link that video, I will post a screenshot or two from the video. The first claimed improvement is to the Racer UI, and it is honestly the most egregious example here. See, the Racer UI in the base game is something that I have found to be iconic, it is a futuristic, all-translucent overlay which jives with the floating, augmented reality markers of events and collectibles, as well as the game's holographic world map. Like I said, everything was done with intent when the developers made this game. And it was so good that games like Forza Horizon and TDU Solar Crown attempted to emulate the exact same style. We know this to be true. So. Why the hell then would you seek to add color to the UI? Rivals Plus makes the speedometer green and the multiplier icon blue. Why? To make it more legible? Sure, I guess. But then, why not orange? Literally the racer UI colors for the game. It's like no thought was given to the aesthetic of the game. And it gets worse. On the base game UI, the Pursuit Tech icons are side by side above the speedometer, creating a symmetrical balance. In Rivals Plus, they are one on top of the other above the center line of the speedometer, so that balance is removed. Not only that, but in the base game, your NOS is depicted by N2O, the chemical symbol for nitrous oxide. In Rivals Plus, it just says Nitro. Again, why? It just feels like everything is dumbed down with this UI. The on-screen text for practically everything is larger, has more horizontal spacing, and it altogether is more obtrusive. But the worst of it all is the modders even went as far as to make a minimalist UI that is completely analog. Meaning you took a game made in 2013, which was made to look like it was made in 2023, 
and you made it look like it was made in 1993. <sighs> I'm sorry, but that's messed up. Anyway, let's move on. The next feature advertised in this mod has to do with undercover cops. In the base game, they are all blacked out with light bars in the windshield and rear window, and they don't show up on radar. It is really well thought out. Rivals Plus seeks to go further and to give the player an option to skin any undercover car to look verbatim like a racer car. I swear, you cannot make this shit up. In the base game, only one car on the cop side was made to look like a racer car, and that is Fate's Ferrari Enzo. This is because Fate, a cop, stole this car from the impound and pretended to be a street racer. Canonically, he was not able to make busts as a cop masquerading as a racer. This is what led to him being sent to VRT because he would have been fired otherwise. If he challenged a street racer, beat them, and then detained them, that is entrapment, and the case would be thrown out. Alternately, there were canonical reasons for Zephyr on the racer side to steal a cop car and then paint it with distinct markings that would be different from being cop control. He did so as a form of political protest, and the message was more impactful as a result, painting him as a Robin Hood character rather than simply making people believe that the cops were fighting amongst themselves. So what reason would players have to turn any cop car into a racer car, or even vice versa? At that point, it is no longer a cop versus racers game, it is just any run-of-the-mill team deathmatch game where the player consideration of what side to be on no longer applies. It ruins literally everything. And I'd love it if the problem stopped there, but guess what? We are not done. See, on top of all this, Rivals Plus seeks to fix a supposed issue of the game where AI players can perform blocks for an easy bus. Um, that's not a bug. It's a feature. It's a feature I have used extensively in my own playthrough. It is also something which has been in every pursuit-based NFS game since day one. If you could only bust a racer by knocking their health bar to zero, then it's no longer a need for speed game. I shouldn't have to explain that, but I guess here we are. And the final thing I want to touch on, which I think ties all this together, is the modder or modders involved in Rivals Plus took it upon themselves to add text descriptions to the cutscenes of the game. Yes, in the career menu, when you hover over a cutscene, they added a description summarizing that cutscene. What. The. Hell. The story, by itself, is not that complex. It is not in any way confusing. If you think the player of your mod needs the story literally spelled out for them, Ask yourself if you understand the story for yourself, because any description you add is going to be non-canon. It's like taking someone else's novel, making an abridged version of it, and claiming that you improved it. You are just so far in the wrong at that point, it's not even funny at all. Now, I've essentially said all I want to say on the matter, and I could just imagine the kind of hate comments I'm going to get on this. People are going to be like, oh, well, if you don't like it, don't install it. Other players clearly think different from you and want to download it. All you're doing is hurting those players. No, this is not okay. Nothing about other players wanting this is ever going to make this okay. Grow the fuck up and take this for what it is. Blatant infringement of copyright and undermining the very game that it's ripping off. See, I was already lukewarm about the Crew Unlimited because at least in that case, the game was based on Abandonware. But this is just reverse engineering and bootlegging of a game still in circulation. This mod deserves every DMCA takedown imaginable. End of story. Y'all want to hate me for that? Be my guest. You are not real Need for Speed fans anyway. But if you actually give a damn about the series and want to preserve what made it great, then you should not feel comfortable letting this shit fly. So do the right thing and speak up about it. Tell EA like I did. The choice is yours. Now I'm done, and I'm off to go play the real NFS Rivals.